Conservative media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Okay, I have a really exciting breaking science news story to bring you. And this may be, you know, possibly a, a green energy, a new alternative energy, massive breakthrough. We don't know yet, yet. all my personal opinions. Like I said, check the disclaimers, all my personal opinions, not alleging fact casting and aspersions, and check the disclaimers. Now, this could be the major breakthrough or one of the major breakthroughs to make green energy, new alternative energy, a real viable thing, sustainable energy, everything. What is it? Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Let's not get too excited yet, but this is a big deal. This is a discovery by, by MIT scientists that they're working on. This is something that's been worked on for a long time now, okay? And it's basically the, uh, if, you, if you will, an artificial leaf, you know? Something that mimics, in a lot of ways, photosynthesis. What it does is it turns solar energy, right? You, take, you put this thing in water. It's about the size of a playing card. You put it in water, you have a tank and everything. It splits the water into oxygen and hydrogen. Then by doing that, it gets to store some of that energy, some of that solar energy, and it can basically power a, developing, a house in a developing country for an entire day in a gallon of water. That's like amazing. So, you know, this definitely, look, no matter what, if this thing works, it might be another, again, alternative, another mix in the new energy thing to help us with, you know, uh, get away from some of the dependence on, you know, foreign oil, fossil fuels, this kind of stuff. It also, looking at the numbers here, see, the, the, one of the biggest problems with solar energy has always been sort of the efficiency and the storage, right? So there was no solar energy. Well, wait, wait a minute. There's problems with solar energy. There's, you know, none of these energy sources is a, is a panacea yet. The, one of the problems with solar energy is one is storage, okay? It only works when the sun's on, and, you, and it's hard to store that, that, that extra energy in a lot of places if, if you don't have, you know, some additional uh, 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 systems and equipment, where, meaning you can ship some of the stuff offline and then store it somewhere else, but it's hard to store the energy. The second, the second problem is the efficiency. A lot of the solar energy stuff is, you know, right around, I believe, you know, around 10% efficient. This stuff... In this new artificial leaf, the, the MIT stuff, is supposedly something around 76% efficient. That is amazing. Now, again, obviously, this is a prototype. It's, it's small scale. It's early. We don't know what's going to happen, you know, whatnot. But this is a very, very impressive situation that a bunch of scientists over there at MIT have worked on. Uh, you need to check this thing out, and I'm excited about it. And look, that's what I've always been saying, that the technology is coming. I've told you guys that. The technology is coming. It, we're not too far off yet, and this right here is an exciting thing. And I agree with what this article says, whereas you know, you're going to need to have a mix of different technologies that can sort of you know, mimic nature, a mix of different technology to get a real... A viable long-term solution, but it's extremely exciting, and I want to know what you think about it. You got to tell me what's up. Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media.